everybody. Welcome back to our podcast. I am Althea Rain. Mahalo Smythe. And Yuri Inoku. And we are your hosts for Tre Geek. Today's segment, we've got to do a little bit of celebrity news since, you know, they're all pop culture and that falls within our, our scope. Uh, as of March 17th, 2023, Lance Reddick passed away. He was only 60 years old. According to abcnews.go.com, his cause of death was natural causes. I don't know any 60-year-old who dies of natural causes, though. It's weird. He probably had some something. He must have. I mean, he still looked healthy as heck for being in all the movies and all the projects he's been He had several projects that he was still working on. If you look at his IMDb, there are seven upcoming productions that he was going to be in. He was going to be in uh, Ballerina as uh, Charon Caron. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it was the character from the uh, John John Wick movies. He was going to be in the TV series Percy Jackson and the Olympians. He finished that one, but um, I was so excited about that one. I wanted to see how he did as Zeus. But yeah, he had seven upcoming productions in addition to, uh, what, two of them that were already released uh, in Mm -hmm. 2023. And we're talking like 10 movies or more over the last couple of years. Um, he just acted last year in the TV series Resident Evil as uh, Albert Wesker was reimagined. He was a voiceover in the Horizon games, Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West. And it just seems like a shock to me that he's just passed on from natural causes. Are we talking a heart attack? But why didn't they mention it as a heart attack? Did he have some other, like a stroke or something? But why wouldn't they have mentioned what of these possibly natural causes would have been? Well, it sounds like he wasn't sick. So it's not like he had cancer or something and, and was like, you know... I would imagine if he had cancer or something like that, he would not be taking on, like, long term projects. No, Um, no. But maybe he had, I mean, it it can happen to anybody. It can happen to young people. Maybe he had, like, an aneurysm or something like that, or uh, a stroke. Um, Of course, you know, there's a lot of people, I mean, there's a a lot of conspiracy theories about how people are just, like, dying mysteriously of natural causes these days that can be linked to things I won't, I won't dig, I won't, I won't speak about specifically. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so um, he is he is survived by his wife uh stephanie reddick took to her late husband's verified instagram account on uh this morning uh, on saturday and posted several profile shots of reddick including one where he's in character as commander savala uh yeah, in the caption stephanie also thanked the fans for the overwhelming love and support during this very difficult time she says Lance was taken from us far too soon. Thank you for the overwhelming love, support, and beautiful stories shared on these platforms over the last day. I see your messages, and I can't begin to express how grateful I am to have them. And to the thousands of Destiny players who played in special tribute to Lance, thank you. Lance loved you as much as he loved the game. So, Destiny, like the Destiny community, do something for him? Uh, I think so. I think they went out and they all, like, collectively played Destiny together in, um... Solidarity. That's nice. And Savala is like the main um person that gives you the quests. So he is like in your home uh base and I bet that they probably all stood in front of his character or something just to, you know, honor him much like what they did with um oh Hagrid and the Harry Potter. They yeah. Went to. <laughs> yeah. He Something was a like really that. good actor. He was very talented. Um, I really liked his performance in the Horizon games. He was compelling. 
uh, convincing, um, sinister. I mean, you didn't know if you could trust them and proved at the end that there's a reason that you had a distrust. Um, you know, I haven't seen the uh, Resident Evil uh, series that came out in 2022, but I have a friend who said he was the only reason that that show was watchable. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it, that's high praise coming from her. She's a, you know, Resident Evil geek. So, you know, he was a good actor. And uh, he's only 60 years old. Only 60 years old. But he's not the only celebrity that we got to talk about here. Because Sam Neill, who we all know as Alan Grant from Jurassic Park... Um, he came out and said that he's being treated for stage three blood cancer. Um, according to Reuters, the 75 year old Jurassic Park actor was reportedly diagnosed with, oh, forgive me for butchering this, angio, ang, angioimmunoblastic T cell lymphoma, a rare <laughs> non Hodgkin lymphoma. I think I actually said it correctly after yeah, well, I corrected it. <laughs> Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the best type of... I believe that's the one that's actually treatable. Hodgkin's lymphoma, I think, is the one that isn't treatable, so, like, I think he's got, like, the better of the two. I um, know that he's writing a memoir uh, right now, and he's opened about his diagnosis in his memoir, and... It's set to come out on Tuesday. Uh, one In chapter one, he writes, The thing is, I'm crook, possibly dying. I may have to speed this up. Now, according to the Reuters article, because of the uh, treatment that he is currently taking, um, it says that he originally started with a chemotherapy treatment that... Uh, failed, but he's taking a new anti-cancer drug that he will take for the rest of his life, and this, I can't verify if this is actually true, but it says in the article that because of this uh, anti-cancer drug that he's taking, he is now cancer-free, but that's only pretty much as long as he takes this drug for pretty much the rest of his life. So, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what to think of this new cancer drug, if it's going to be the, the miracle that we're kind of hoping it is, or if it's just staving it off, like some, some drugs do uh, for certain types of cancers. I know, but, like, I know with the experience I have with cancer, like, once you have stage four, there's, I don't know about stage three, um, but I know, like, once you get stage four, you can treat it, and the goal is to keep it from spreading more and to keep your 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 cancer cell count down. Kind of similar to like how age treatment would keep your. But at stage down. four, you're not going to get yeah. rid of it fully, and it is going right. to kill you eventually. Um, he's well, only at stage three. Yeah, if you don't get hit by a bus first, then yeah, oh, you'll yeah, get killed with cancer. Well, I mean, okay, so this is completely. Um, uh, this is not off topic, but it's a completely different thing because it's in animals. But like, take ferrets for example. Um, one cancer that my ferret, that one of my ferrets had gotten in the past, was called adrenal disease. It was a tumor that basically attacked the adrenal glands, and there was an implant that we could put in the ferret called the Desilorin implant that had to be changed every between six months and a year. But this implant basically kept that cancer from ever getting worse. <clears throat> it would always be there, but it was never going to get worse. Right. And it was never going to um, be uh, give him the symptoms of what that tumor on the adrenal gland could do. So, again, I know, you know, that's an animal totally different than, you know, people. But if there are drugs, if there are implants, if there's chemicals that can that can keep tumors at bay in animals, I would imagine something similar can be 
derived in humans. It's hard for me to believe that he's 75 years old. <laughs> so hard for me to believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we're just great. we're just talking about Lance Reddick being 60 and and and, and we've got this guy who's 15 got 15 years on him and he's fighting cancer. Yeah. That that's Thanks. still just crazy to me. That's crazy to me. He still yeah. looks great though. He doesn't look like he's 75. Yeah, no he does no, not. No, he does not. Yeah, he looks and, like he's in his 60s still. And he, um, it's funny, he said, you know, we all know him from Jurassic Park, but he will always be Merlin to me. Like, I, I <laughs> just, I just think of Merlin when I think of, when I think of him. It's like I the first thing of, that comes to mind. I think of Rydon from the Jungle Book. Um, oh, he's the, oh, he's the person that takes Mowgli in. Yes, and... I remember that when I lo- I loved that I rendition. Loved that movie. <laughs> Look, okay, you know what? If there was going to be, I, I did not like the live action movie in what was it, 2016, 20, 2015, something like that. There was the one that had um, uh, Bill Murray as Blue, but I loved. The 1990s, there was a, if you guys didn't know, there was a a live action jungle book in the 1990s. The animals did not talk Mm -hmm. at all. It had, it had (laughs) Carrie L, it had Carrie L was in it. I I know. I love Carrie L. Yes. His role, he was awesome in that movie. And, um. such a. He, I, I hated that role because it's just like, I wanted to like. And <laughs> coincidentally, that's where I learned who Le- uh, Lena Headey is, not from Game of Thrones as uh, Cersei Lannister. I knew her from the Jungle Book, and I, I love that movie. She was um, Sam Neill's daughter in that movie. Yeah, came, but in 19, I, came out in 1998. 1994. 1994, because there's one that came out in 1994, there's one that came out in 1990. I remember the 1994 one, but I do not remember this. Yeah. I remember and the 1998 one, but I do not remember this 1994 one. Uh, uh girl, I'm gonna have to add this Mowgli. one to the list. I'm gonna have to add this one to the list for you to watch. This list is ever-growing, Halo. <laughs> this list I, is like, ever-growing. His version of Mowgli for, like, Jason Scott Lee was great, but, like, I just love that movie in total. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Sam Neill is an excellent actor. We know him from a lot of different things. And I'm hoping that he's able to stay cancer free if he if this drug is actually keeping him cancer free right now. So, uh all hopes for the best and rest in peace, Lance Reddick. Thanks for geeking out with us this week. If you enjoy our content, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next segment. Bye!